If you're an expert and you just started your coaching business, but you're having a hard time getting clients, it could be because of one of three reasons. That's why today I'm going to show you the top three mistakes that I see and then how to fix them so that you can start getting your first clients and get to 10 K plus months with your business. Hi, I'm Natalie and I went from zero to 10 K months in my own business four years ago when I first started in just three months. So I'm going to show you exactly how how I did that because technically when I very first started, which I'm counting starting back when I was actually doing things to get clients because technically for around four months, it took me four months to get my very first client, right? Where I was doing a lot of these mistakes that I'm going to talk about in today's video, right? I've now worked with over 250 women and I've had a lot of women start with me from ground zero and be able to build up their business to six figures or even multiple six figures using my strategies. So let's get into this video. So one of the biggest mistakes that I see coaches and experts fall into is they start their business and then they just use copy and paste templates, meaning they either purchased a program where they're using copy and paste templates or they're just looking at what other people are doing and they're like okay I'm gonna post something like that I'm gonna post it in similar language and then they're you're wondering why they're hearing crickets and yet the person who originally used whatever that uh, whatever the template was got a ton of clients from it and they're like why is this not working for me you know well it usually works for them because it's stated in the language that's on brand for them meaning if you aren't using your own unique marketing message to attract clients online you're gonna have a hard time getting clients online you need to have a differentiating factor as well as kind of what's that extra spice to you what's gonna help attract people to you it doesn't mean that you have to be super super excited all the time that's just not your personality okay one of my clients she tends to be very Zen she gets a lot of clients being her super Zen self right but you need to lean into hey what is your character archetype as well as what's your differentiating factor and that's gonna help you have more of a unique marketing message right so what you want to think of these templates as is they're giving you they're giving you kind of the strength structure of what works meaning like hey here's the hook of how I'm hooking people and getting people to actually latch on to the content I'm talking about then they are talking about the different value right but they're stating all of this within their own marketing unique voice and marketing message and that's why it's working for them whereas with a lot of people you can tell when it's simply not their language and they're literally just taking it from someone and they're just like filling out a couple of words differently. It doesn't resonate with people. It doesn't seem like it's you and you probably won't get as many clients as the original person that posted that. So look at if you do purchase some sort of template thing, but side note, I really don't recommend it. But if you have, right, and you have templates for things, look more at what the underlying kind of principles that they're using within these templates and then craft your own brand archetype and have a unique marketing message with your differentiating factor within your niche, right? To be able to really bring in clients. If you are a brand new coach or consultant or expert and you're like, hey, maybe I want to start an online course and you're trying to figure this whole thing out, I want to like send you a personal invite right now. Meaning I have a free Facebook group, okay? It's called the Thriving Female Entrepreneur Society. I put out exclusive trainings that you can't find anywhere else such as like how I manifested $24,000 or I think it was 26,000. I don't know. It's one or the other. Within four days, I put out very specific videos on the key things that I did to help myself get to 10K months initially. I put out different videos like, hey, here's how we got 29 new clients within like a 24 hour period. Put out lots of little videos like that. And you can go check them out within that free group as well as be able to mingle with other wonderful women within that group. The second mistake mistake that a lot of people make is that they're focused on the wrong things, meaning things like logo, branding, colors, okay, um, website design, let me just post consistently and build an audience rather than having a real sales strategy. So when you first get started, you should be focused on a couple of things right and it's three things only how do I generate traffic how do I get in front of my ideal client 
Then what is my system for converting these people who are absolute strangers into paying clients? What is your content strategy alongside what is your relationship building strategy to be able to book in calls? And then from these book calls, how are we converting these into sales? When you're focused on a sales strategy, understanding, hey, here's how I take someone from a stranger to a paying client, you will get clients, okay? The reason why it took me four months to get my very first client is because I was focused on what everyone thinks starting a business is rather than what actually running a business is like. Okay, it doesn't have to do with branding, it doesn't have to do with colors, okay? It doesn't have to do with logos, it doesn't have to do with websites, it doesn't have to do with anything with like, hey, am I gonna be an LLC or an S Corp? It has to do with none of that. Instead, it has to do with having a real sales strategy. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, right? Because I put out new videos just like this one every single Friday. You can even request videos in the comments below of what you'd like me to talk about next or maybe there's a point in this video that you're like hey can you talk more about how you specifically do that comment that below as well as hit that like button because it really helps me out the third big mistake that people make is they are more concerned and they're worried about what other people are going to think of them and what happens here is even though they know they're an expert at what they do and even though they know they have a real passion for the niche that they want to help they hold themselves back either entirely meaning they don't do anything because they're like ah maybe i'll do all this other stuff which means that i don't have to get in front of camera or it means i don't have to put myself out there or it means i don't have to do the things that i know i need to do to get clients so that i don't have to face potential judgment okay I used to do this all the time, right? This is another huge reason why it took me so long to get my first client. I was really, really concerned about other people's perceptions of me. And one thing that I can tell you now is that I like to think of it this way, let's say. People probably talk bad about you already, right? Like that's probably a given. So you might as well be living your life in alignment with how you want to live it. People are gonna dislike you regardless right? So you might as well be more happy with yourself than concerned about other people's perceptions of you. Okay. Because the truth is they're not living your life. You're living your life. And if this is what you want to do and you want to be able to build a successful business within it, you're going to have to get more comfortable just being you and forgetting about everybody else's mumbo jumbo. You're going to have to be polarizing, meaning some people will probably really dislike you right? I bet there's some people out there right now who really dislike me, okay? And then this actually coincidentally will help you more readily attract more clients because you are being polarizing and you're being fully yourself, right? Now, if this is still a huge kind of thing for you mentally and you're really, really concerned about what other people are thinking of you, right? I do want to let you know that I actually have more of a full video on mindset for female entrepreneurs. It's where I analyze the five habits of successful women within business, right? And this is a video that you can watch for free on YouTube. So if that's something that interests you, right? I'll probably put it up in the cards here somewhere. You can click on that video and go watch that now. Anyways, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell because I put out new videos just like this one every single Friday.